Hey there you are and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to King Menelaus of Sparta on Total War Saga Troy. God I'm telling you what I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of saying that intro because it's literally every single video at the moment but fear not there will be some variation coming to the channel this Friday my Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play starts majorly looking forward to that one if you haven't seen it already go and check out the teaser trailer that i released a few days ago and as well my third let's play will be starting on saturday however the vote for that one when the at the point of this video going up has literally a few hours remaining so you've only got a few hours to go over if you haven't already to the video and cast your vote as i say it will close this evening so you've only got a few hours but it's between mountain blade 2 banner lord Kingdom Come Deliverance, and it is between Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So if you haven't cast your vote, go check out the video. Cast it on there. The link is in the video description. Because you never know, your vote may sway which way it goes. Um, it's At the moment, Bannerlord is winning, but you never know. A few votes here or there could change or turn the tide completely. So yeah, that will be starting on Saturday. So lots, lots to look forward to in the upcoming weeks and lots to look forward to in the upcoming months as well super excited and sorry that this video is out a day late or i didn't release a video i should say yesterday got lots of things on so i wasn't able to record as much as i wanted to but yeah we're back here today with some more troy action for you um little bit of a situation i feel is developing in the game i feel we're entering the mid stage of this story now in the campaign we've done the initial stages the first few episodes and now we're getting into the 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 thick juicy part of the campaign because we've got a situation where the money's gone a little bit lower you know i'm concerned about the change per turn we're losing nearly 1200 food a turn we've got to keep armies fed we've got lots to prioritize and armies at the moment is important we've got this 10 stack over here and then we've got the 20 stacker of menelaus over there obviously that's key to us our army you know marches on its stomach as napoleon said and it's got to cost us a lot of food so we need to make sure we're getting that positive as soon as possible and i fear my enemies are starting to draw in and are beginning to make their moves on attacking us because we've got hector over here he's taking on melos soon and then he could push further into these lands here and try and take out our home region so i'm concerned about that We've got the Amazonians over here, who we're at war with. Uh, you know, we've got Paris of Troy over here. So they're starting to make their move on the Greeks. So I'm concerned they're going to start pushing on my territories as well. We've got the Arcadians, we've got Ellis. So I feel we're going to have to, in the next couple of episodes, just turtle up, take it. And then once we've done it, we'll be able to push on and um, effectively... Once we've dealt with the invasions, I feel that's going to happen. We can then push out and begin um, you know, pushing west, taking out Ellis, finishing them off, finish off the Arcadians, and then ultimately push east, bring on these, these barbarians of the Amazonians, and then keep going across the Aegean and into Troy. That's the idea, and hopefully that by that point, if we've relieved the pressure off these guys and get rid of these, then it will give you know, factions like my brother, Mycenae, and Argos time to regroup and then we can uh, call upon them and Achilles looks like he's over here on his own Achilles you know get time for them to get themselves ready for the invasion of Troy because ultimately that's what we've got to do so yeah I feel we're in the mid game now and we've got to withstand a little bit of pressure before we uh, before we can push on and here we go there's three islands three lands of Achilles I don't know where the Halley is What's our state of play with Achilles, actually? How is he? Is he okay with us? Military power is four. That's pretty good. We could talk. Yes. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, exactly. Um, nothing we can do. Just wanted to see how you were, Achilles. Watch out for the old ankle. Right. So that's pretty much it for that. While we're on the subject of food, though, let's try and do something about it. 
I'm going to build this food warehouse, which will then in turn go to level 3 food storehouse, which will again then give us 15% extra per turn from our buildings in this province, which is the farming city and these three docks as well. So it's important we try and boost it up with this building chain, I feel. So that's one. And then over here in Crete, we've got this to be a measured fields and this to be a farming, get off, city. That will give us uh, obviously an increase in food as well. So that's hopefully going to help sort out the negative on that. And I don't think there's pretty much... I mean, what I could do is start to do, actually build... And we can't do it yet, but we could get to a level 2 at Atilion, maybe. No, we can't, actually. We haven't got enough, food, we haven't got enough construction points or... or What's the word I'm looking for? Insufficient funds, there we go. But we could start to build these guard houses just in case we do get invaded. We've got a little bit more garrison to fall back on when the armies invade and they attack the lands of the regions there, the cities. We've got these with a bolstered garrison, if you know what I mean. Also, this seer, you ain't going anywhere, my love, because if you do, I just realised what this means. The Divine Errand mission is that and if she does complete it she removes herself off the campaign map we want her to be doing this the ritual of true sight which will give us that maximum favor to any god presiding in the region which will be in three turns zeus which will then give us the bloody minotaur so we don't want it to be buggering off over here we need her to stay to do that sacrifice at sparta and then when she does that and we get this minotaur oh baby we are in for one a hell of a treat because, as I said to you before, they are just super powerful. So that Minotaur will be very, very important to us. So yeah, we'll keep her around for that. And also, in this, this army I'll at the moment, right. I'll monitor this, see how, how precarious it gets. But if this Priestess is taking up too much food, which she is at the moment, 354 per turn, we could get rid of her. And then that will save us a little bit of money because, yeah, I know she does sacrifice sort of sacrificial offerings, but... The, the, the sort of cost outlay of that compared to what she's given us in food is or taking from us in food isn't good so we may remove her temporarily and then get her recruited back in in a few turns when our food is sorted but for the moment we'll just monitor it and see how she is but i'm weighing up my options with her all right i've cancelled those two units because i'm going to actually attack uh mantin mantinia mantinia in a second Mantinier, there we go. We had a cat catch or take that settlement in a second with that army of ours. But over here, I'm going to bring the spy out of this city. If he fails one more mission, by the way, I've got a great name for him. I tell you, a great name for him. But we'll see how he performs in this episode. So we'll move him out of the way. And then I'm going to get Menelaus and put him. What's the movement range? 25%. If I put him there, yeah, put him there. 45% chance of success at ambush. On the march. Put him in my ambush, ambush stance. And then that may draw them out now I've taken off the uh, raiding stance. It may draw them out thinking that I've gone and the spy's gone. And then I could try and hit him on the ambush there with them not suspecting it. That's the idea. We'll see how it plays out. But yeah. How are Argos actually in terms of their strength ranking? Just seeing their settlements on our 40, right, okay. Because I'm just thinking in terms of our allies, how powerful everyone is. I mean, Achilles is okay. And my senior 29. Right, okay, that's fine. No worries. Yeah, so obviously Argos, I need to use them as much as possible. And Pylos, because Pylos are the ones who are at war with the uh, Ellis faction alongside me. So if I get them to... Where are Pylos? To set the war target of that army there, they can hopefully take them out and then push on and, and re get rid of their one remaining region that they've got. We've got one there. Bet you're desperate for Go peace, on. are you? No, you're not. I thought you'd be desperate for peace, but you're not. Okay, right. Get us this screen. Let's go and take this settlement. You can rely on me. Good. Bring the so it's 50-50 really. 
see even the sacrifices cost food she costs food and the sacrifices cost food so i can't really do anything about that at the moment we'll fight this battle with it being evenly matched and we'll see how we do Okay, nice and dry. We'll like that. And also, by the way, thanks again for all your army unit name suggestions. I have been collating them. Don't think because I haven't put them into the uh, armies at the moment because I'm basically waiting for this army to get to a full 20 stat before I do it. But when I do, I've got all the suggestions that you guys have been doing and given to me in the last couple of episodes written down on Notepad. So they're there, ready to go. So yeah, don't think I've forgotten about them. I certainly have not. Okay, so let's get the um, missiles at the front, and then the infantry behind. It's going to be a bit. It's going to be a bit legendary here, a bit cheesy because I'm just literally going to um, take the uh, missile units in. Probably, actually, no. Is it cheesy? I don't know. It's just going to take the missile units forward. They're going to cause as much damage as possible from range because obviously the enemy are going to sit back and try and defend. So if I try and do as much damage with range first and then once that's been done, I'll push him with the infantry. So it may not be the most entertaining bit of the video to watch, but come on, sometimes you have to do this for the greater good. So let's put them, keep them there, keep them there, keep them there. Don't get cocky, guys. Push them forward a little bit more. Get the cavalry to come across. Oh, looks like they're pulling back here. They're not so stupid that they're going to sit there and take it, which I thought they would have done, actually. Okay, fair enough. So it may not be that boring for you to watch. Anyway, actually, it may be a bit, a bit more entertaining than I thought it was going to be, which is obviously good for you guys. So let's bring the infantry forward. So it looks like they're trying to position themselves on either front. I mean, what we can do is use, obviously, the uh, the Centaur Scouts to start to harass these spearmen on the right side here. So come across, do that. Push into the city a little bit more, guys. Come on, tease yourselves in there. Come on, use that swift mobility of yours to take them out quickly. Let's not get trapped in here. Come on, get some volleys out. Come on, guys. Come on. Not great because they're not really spread out properly. Let's pull them back a bit. Get the infantry to go in. That will bait the enemy to come forward. And then hopefully the slingers will be in a better position to spread out and fire more effectively. The foe has sighted your hidden units. I'm playing skirmish mode now. Surely they get trapped in there. Which you are going to if you're not careful. You're going to get trapped in a second, guys. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, you've gone the wrong bloody way. Now you now you're bloody in a trap here. What are you doing? You will soon hold the enemy's victory point. Right, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Because you're going in the wrong direction there. This way, this way, this way. Oh my god. Right, I'll take control of you. Take off skirmish mode. You're just going all over the place, you retards. Come on. Pull back. 
Right, we're pushing over there. We've done good work against them in that side. So we keep this direction going round. Get these units on the left side there and the other on the right. Where are you? Come back. Go over this way. Take out these militia. Oh, God, these centaur scouts. Oh, piss me off. They've done a shit job there. Should have managed them better anyway. They've not done what I thought it was going to do. I thought they were going to be a bit more passive and just sit there and take the enemy, take our fire, I should say, but they haven't, which uh, has surprised me. Maybe the AI are getting better <laughs> as time goes on. Right, we clash in the middle. That's okay. Um, it blobbed up nicely, actually. Could do with a nice little infantry charge here. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's go for a charge in the back. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, now we got pulled into a bloody fight with Dollops. Let's pull out of that. Come on. Not bad charge. Not bad. Could have been better. Your hero is under attack. Pull him back out. Try and avoid the enemy warlord. Um. Let's get these units firing on those skirmishers at the back. Oh, God. We're just sitting there as well, taking that fire from those guys. Come on. One of your units has no more ammunition. Who's that? Is it the spear unit? I think it's the spear unit. I haven't lost that many. I thought we'd have lost more men in this. What are these... Fucking cavalry units doing? Get out of there! Jesus Christ! They are, I tell you what, they'd be court martialed in a minute if they carry on. I'll have them whipped. Right, so we've pushed them away. Warlord's fighting other warlord. Get a charge in the back here, that'd be quite nice to see. Drop the enemy morale. God, that's dropping it really nice and quickly. Look at that go down now. Okay, cavalry. Let's go this way. Hopefully the enemy loss penalty will kick in in a minute. Another charge, please, guys. Right, stop the fire now because I'm concerned about enemy, sorry, friendly fire actually, I'm concerned about that. So let's stop the missile units from firing. Right, that's a mash right over there and then the victory has kicked in. Lovely. We can end the battle. I don't know how that was a decisive victory because it was all over the place. We were literally all over the place then. 106 killed, it could have been a little bit less than that. Oh, that was messy, but we got the job done at least. Not bad with these speed units there, 211. That was pretty good from them. They are the uh, the light spearmen, aren't they, them? They're pretty damn good, that unit are. They're pretty damn good, this unit, actually. Pretty damn good indeed. And sh I should get more of them in my uh, army. Light they're light spear runners, aren't they? I think they're called. Is that what they are? Yeah, light spear runners. Nice. Should get more of them in my army. They are... Pretty damn effective. So yeah, we've got some good resources from that one. Now, my plan, I said I was going to occupy it. I've changed my mind thinking about it. Actually, I'm going to raise this bastard to the ground. Hear me out, because if my I raise it, grows. it, it basically cuts off the Arcadian support and supply lines. They've only got two settlements remaining over here. And if they're going to attack, they're going to have to pull further into enemy territory. And it also gives Argos a chance to take it. Because that, that's what they may, they may try and do that. So if I pull my army back next turn... 
So it's really skill point up. Plus five to melee attack, yeah. If we pull our hero back into our own lands, as I say, we've given him less territories to control, less resources to have, and it could damage him. We may take it back some point in the future, or Argos, as I say, may take it. But as long as the enemy haven't got it, I've dented their supply hopes a little bit more. And, uh, you know, less, less settlements, less resources in the bank, should we say. So that's my idea with that one. Hopefully it'll pay off. All right, let's, let's end the turn. Nothing else to do. We've built everything we can. Hector's on the move. He's going to take Melos. He's going to lay siege to it at least anyway. Little bastard. The Mycenae pulling back. Okay, let's fast forward. Look at those amount of Amazonian territories around there. I do not like that site. I've got to sort that out soon. That's my next objective, to push into that direction with the Mycenae and try and, try and take those regions back. Once we've consolidated, that's the thing. Consolidate here first. Right, so Agrippena, or Agapena, as uh, launch an attack on me. We can't win that battle. It's too much in their favour. So that's that's retreat, pull back. Hopefully they haven't followed. They haven't. They haven't followed, which is good. Ambush failed. Ah, damn it. Well, just thinking. I want to fight it just because I know the, the balance of power is way in my favour. Hopefully I can do a little bit of a better job of keeping our casualties down. But yeah, thankfully the Arcadians weren't able to carry on that attack in the north. Else I could have lost that second army then, but I don't think they had enough movement points left to ch track me down, to chase me down. So that's good. But this this battle, yeah, I feel that we can, we can keep the casualties quite low actually so we may as well fight it even though the balance of power is way in our favor let's get these as our frontline units the more elite units of the of the army i'm tempted to get the manator into this force actually but then again if i put him into the other force he will make a massive difference to that secondary army which is of course a lot weaker than this so i'm tempted to keep it with them but at the same time it would be awesome to have a minotaur in this army as well because you can imagine a minotaur in this army build with menelaus as well they'd be absolutely unstoppable at that point but then it would as i say boost the other one the other army quite significantly just that just that one minotaur makes a massive difference it really does i wonder if he'll be nerfed a little bit in the upcoming patch because at the moment he is just the bee's knees. I keep saying that. But you'll see, when we have him, having fought against one once in my own little playthrough I was doing off cam, I was like, wow. It's Minotaur. It's just solid. So yeah, to have him in my army, I cannot wait. Chariots go that way. Okay, Shane, that ambush didn't, didn't uh, pull through. The ambush would have been fantastic against these guys. It would have absolutely destroyed them so quickly. But now we've got this field battle. It's uh, not going to be as plain sailing, unfortunately. But still, it's actually the balance of power is now not in our favour as much as it was on the campaign map. Maybe I should have already resolved it, but never mind. We'll do all right. We'll get through. We'll take a couple of hundred losses, I would imagine. Nothing major. Chariots pull into the uh, woodland over there. Keep your sounds concealed. Pull over there. We don't want to go into the range of the slingers. Oh, it's this bloody cliffside here is a bit of a pain. It would have been awesome just to go straight direct there, but I've got to go round it now. Go that way, and then you push in on that right side. Chariots keep moving right. Hopefully you're concealed. Get round the back. Start to take out some of these skirmishes eventually. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Okay, we're having some 
fire going on now from the enemy slingers. Oh, yeah, I spotted my chariots. Damn it. Never mind. Not a problem. Oh, they've got some units in the tree line themselves. It's okay. It's okay. Let's put them out. Let's put them out a little bit. Get the enemy to commit their units before we then begin to uh, fight and bring in the chariots. Oh, you exposed there. Come on, where are the other units? Have spotted hidden foes. Let's get moving. Menelaus, where are you? Right, go, go, go now. Go, 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 chariots. Now's your time. Left side's not behind enough. Come on. Come swarm in the back of me here. Come on, come across. Flank him. Hit him hard. Your warriors are losing oh, heart. Fuck. Really? Come on. Tell you what, note to self. Next time when the order resolved doesn't look too bad on the campaign map, go for it. Come on, chariots. Today would be really helpful. Your warriors have been routed. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. Victory is close, close enough. enough. To Great, taste. come on. Let's get it let's get it done. Let's get the job done. Uh where are the chariots? Are they over here? I was thinking where the hell they were then. Move in. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Where's Menelaus? Right, we need to get him taking on that enemy warlord because we want him dealt with. Right, so a lot of routing of armies kicking in now, which is what we want to see. Routing of units, I should say. The army's still going at the moment, but not for long, hopefully. Chariot's pushing through. By the, by the way, I don't know if you have got a chance to see it yet, but check out... Check out Legend's video of his army spam of chariots. God, if you have an army of chariots, they absolutely decimate the enemy. They're so OP at the moment. Again, they'll probably be nerfed in another patch. But yeah, chariots, even level 3 chariots are just the boss at the moment. But yeah, we need to try and take out as many as we can now because we want them to not be able to fight on that much longer so we can try and get him taken down I don't think we are gonna have a chance to finish off the warlord but if we can try and damage him as much as possible then we'll be able to uh, finish him off next turn hopefully They've taken a big beating. I mean, how would we lose? Oh, 200, 300 men. It could have been better. It could have been better. Is he going to get through? Is he going to get through the gap? <laughs> He's taking a beating. He's taking a beating. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Finish him off. Finish him off. This is hilarious. We actually kill him on this side of the edge of the map. This would be hilarious. We're going to do it, I think. Hades, <laughs> yeah. the enemy hero. Brilliant. We were able to kill him off. Fantastic. Didn't think we'd be able to do that, but we did. Good job we didn't end the battle beforehand. Great. Okay, so we lost 286. Could have been better. Could have been better. But then you don't know if the order resolve would have killed the enemy general. You don't know that, do you? So... Take on the unit replenishment. Um, no. You're okay. Settlement besieged, Melas, yeah, that's uh, Hector. Um, People's Feast, two plus happiness in own provinces. Path of Peace. The, the, let's get into the penitent man, I think of Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. Last Crusade, Path of Peace. 
the penitent man shall pass. Um, don't know why that came to me. Sign a non-aggression pact through diplomacy. Right, okay. Decisive victory, Battle of Satyr. Great. Uh, trait gained, bold. 10% to aura, size of hero. Got in battle. Does that mean the enemy's... So the army's gone. Does that mean the army's still there? It doesn't. Yes. Doing that. Killing that general made a difference then. People deserve. Success, good. That's really good, actually, because that I don't know if I hit if I had not killed that general then, if I had not killed that general then, that would have made them be able to escape. So the order resolve may have not done that, and me just keeping my nerve and keeping going with them <laughs> onto the edge of the map may have done the job. Awesome, right? Um, ooh, who are you? Right, we've got a priestess, enemy agent coming across. Royal decree. I'm going to go for this one, planning for production, because we want to get, again, food going. And we've got a lot of food and melee attack as well for these units. Ooh, that's, that's another chain there, isn't it? That goes off to the left, to, to the right. We can come back to that side there afterwards, but we'll do this one for the moment, because I want to get that. I know it's 400 gold, but it will massively boost our food per turn so we may as well go for it yeah the army's coming down from the north there right so let's bring our army back that we were able to save the last turn force march them back back into sparta so they can then hopefully uh, replenish quicker that should go up a little bit more Oh, come on, get into the building. Oh, come on. God's sake. <laughs> Never mind. Um, this bronze finish will increase resources to the province. So, again, increasing the docks and the farming. So, we'll do that one. Nice little boost from that. We're going to have to sh hold strong. If this army does attack this garrison, which it will, we're going to have to hold strong and see what damage we can do. And hopefully defeat them with the garrison force we've got. So we're continuing the siege there. Increasing our skills. What could we go for? Minus 5% to upkeep a Menelaus' elite army. I don't know how many units are elite units at the moment. But I suppose when you think about it, we are going to get more elite units into the army as time goes on. So that will be a beneficial trait to have as time goes on. So we may as well do it. Um, yeah, that's all we can do this turn. So let's just see what happens now. I think, as I say, the Arcadians are going to push down more. And we're going to have to stand strong at the city of Attilion. Amazonians. I saw some Amazonian movement there. I'm sure that was an army. To the right there in the Aegean. Right. Oh, damn it. Okay, so they're going to take... Back to Gaia. We're going to order resolve that one. But look at that. I just noticed that. I didn't realise until now. Argos did take that settlement we raised beforehand. They've just taken it. So it worked out favourably. These guys weren't able to get of it, hold of it. The Arcadians. Um, Argos have. So that's one less settlement they've got. I mean, they may gain one back now. Oh, they just sacked it. Oh, they're attacking us here. Right. Okay. I thought they were. Let's fight this one. But that's great. That kind of did work then. Raising that settlement allowed Argos to take it and the Arcadians didn't claim it back so that's good that's good uh, one less settlement that they can control I'm surprised they didn't take Tegea back they just seem to have sacked it and moved back and uh, retreated it's not strange but uh, they may try and take it later on unless one of their other enemies I know they're at war with Akis I think as well so if the army of Akis or the faction of Akis they've got an army nearby can come down and take that army out of the Arcadians then that would do me a favour as well right so where are the enemy coming from oh okay to the right there okay so what could we do the only chance of attacking is through this opening here it's the only way they can get through 
can't get down there, can they? That little bit of wooden fence is blocking them off. Most the strongest wooden fence in history. Who needs the, who needs the walls the walls of Troy when you've got that wooden fence there? Um, okay, so what we could do is this. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna literally put every single infantry unit in this bit here and pack that gap there. Pack it full with all those four units in guard mode. These bows. I'm going to pull them out of the city, or the town, and get them over here. Hide them in the woodland, and when all these units are drawn in to attack, I use my bows to uh, inflict some firepower, firepower down on them. So that's the idea. Let's do this. Get those out there quickly. Let's go. And then let's put these into formation. Because that's the only way they're going to attack. Surely they're just going to attack from here. They won't go around the back. Not that clever. They'll just hit us here. So if we just pack this front entrance here with as many men as we can. Put him in guard mode. Put our hero there as well. Oh, they spotted us. Come on, move. Out the way. Get out of the way. Come on, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Get into the trees as quick as possible. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Got the retrain and trying to chase us down here, the club warriors. Well, they've engaged there. Oh, these club warriors can absolutely do one because they're going to just keep the missile units busy here. Now, okay, they're pulling back. Great. Good job they are as well, so that will give us time to move back in in a second. Get the club warriors out of the way. They're coming back again. Fuck off. Right, now they've drawn themselves back in. Let's go across as quickly as possible, Bowman. We haven't got much time. We haven't got much time. Right, get rid of these first. Let's go drop them quickly. Come on. Come on, quickly, 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 quickly. It's a nice volley. Drop their enemy morale. Because we need to get into the main the main army bulk here. That's what we need to do, really. Come on. Come on. Right there, routing. That's good. Let's turn our attention to these guys. Right, it's trying to drop the numbers a little bit. This is doing our job. Come on. And hopefully these guys can just hold for as long as possible. That's the main thing. Just hold as long as possible. Let our missiles do their job. Shit, he's got his uh, divine powers, hasn't he? Damn it. Come on. We've got to get ours going soon. Bit long to go yet. Right, so one unit is gone. So we've done our job against the giant vanguard. That's pretty cool. Other one's going. Militia now depleting. Balance of power starting to come up a little bit here. Come on, come on. Keep holding the line. All I ask is that you stand for a little bit longer. Right, getting to this main bulk here. Come on, guys. Come on, keep firing in here. So get those volleys. Keep them coming. As Gimli would say, send them and come in! A little quicker than that, please, guys. Come on. 
Get the volleys. Get the volleys over. Awesome, they're starting to waver. Your warriors are losing heart. Don't fucking lose heart. Come on, please just keep keep going. Just a little bit longer. Another one another one gone, another one gone. Oh shit, militia coming across. Your warriors have been routed. It shall be What's gonna happen, obviously? What's gonna happen? Oh, never mind. We we've done a we've done a lot of damage to him. I mean, that's the thing. We've done a lot of damage to him. When you think about it, because they've they wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't have taken this much damage if we'd done an order resolve there. So it's going to make it easier for us to take it back with that army that we've got recovering in Sparta, most definitely. That's the thing, and we can just walk back in, take it quite quickly. But uh, it would have been nice to hold this settlement without requiring the uh, army from the north to come down. But it's it's required. It's it's needed. It's what it, it's what has to be done sometimes. So we'll have to get on with it. Not a problem though. It, I'm not concerned because I know we'll just take it back easily now. So let's just or, you know fast forward this and and get off it. Oh, nothing we can do now. Just uh, the foe is capturing your victory try and kill as many as possible now before we lose it, really. I mean, yes, I'll replenish a little bit before we're able to attack again, but still, it won't be 100% won't be full strength again, will we? That's the main thing. Good. Last ditch charge against the Sendor Scouts. Take some of them down, probably. Spear on horse. We know that. We know how that goes. Take care. You are losing ground. We know that. We know that. Our oh, warlord's gone. He probably died, has he? Valiant defeat. Oh, I'll say that. I'll take a valiant defeat. We did call. You know, we killed four seven two. That's not bad when you think about it. So it could have been worse. It could have been worse. So what we'll do is to say we'll get the army from Sparta itself to just regroup, come down next turn, take this city back. I mean, I would imagine they would they would occupy it now. They won't sack it. Watch them go and sack it now. But <laughs> but yeah, no. We would then. I would just say they would. They would. They would occupy it. We'll come down with that army, finish them off. Hopefully then, in the meantime, they're not too strong in the north and they haven't got any armies that have been summoned in their two remaining settlements so we can just finish them off from there. So yeah, Akis. Where's Akis? Akis are there. I do know. So they're raiding my lands now. I do know, as I say, Akis are at war with them. So, if they've got an army around, just do us a favour, guys, and finish them off. Oh, this... Uh, I... <laughs> yes! Look at that! Thank you! You li literally listened to what I said. It's like I could communicate with you through the game. Wonderful. Akis has just done me a massive favour then at Tegea. Okay, um, so the date they have taken a tilly on. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. We'll go down to normal stance. We shall go down to 50% movement range. And then we shall encamp for the uh, next turn. Get the old replenishment back up. 
get that to level three while I'm thinking about it. So yeah, Akis, what are our situation with Akis? Do they like us? Are they happy with us? What have we got? We've got no got a quite they're quite weak. No sort of I hope position with them at all, have we? Don't even, don't even want non aggression. Okay, fine. Right then, so that's that's where we're at then with that. As I say, you know, we'll bring them down, finish them off, not a problem, and then we'll go north. Take on Ellis, finish off the two regions there, and uh, that's pretty much all we need to do over in, in, in Greece for the moment. So let's look over here while we wait. What we'll do Into the here is break off the siege, get the spy to try and do what he can again to the garrison. Oh, failure, damn it. Right, well, I told you, I told you, I did say, didn't I? I did say. Just saying what I think. Yeah, yeah, we need that. Uh, I did say, if you let me down again, then I've got a name for you. Um, It's F-E-L-T's. <laughs> How do I spell it? How do I spell it? You need to make sure I spell it right, actually, because if you're going to name him, and you know, you're going to mock him like we are. We need to make sure we're spelling it right. Come on. So it's. Go on, get out of the way. I'm on my phone here trying to find this. E P H I A L T E S. Now, I'm not going to explain where's Afi What's Afi Altis? Who's he? If you know, you know who he is, okay. And that's what our spy is called now. FELTs. Sort yourself out, my friend. Because you're now delaying us from taking this this uh, settlement. You're taking time. Because if you'd if you'd have been successful in that, you'd have taken out more of the garrison force, which would have been easier for me to take it because they would have been weaker. But now it's not, because you keep letting oh, me down. You keep letting me down, man. Right. Okay. I'm going to leave it here for this part. So next episode, deal with them, finish off the situation in Crete, then start moving our forces back across, um, Menelaus' armies back across to begin regrouping in the north and watching out for, look at that, these bastards are coming across, I can tell you. So we've got to deal with them as well as soon as. So yeah, looks, lots to look forward to in this campaign. Lots to look forward to on the channel, as I said to you at the beginning. Keep the support coming. Keep the likes coming. Keep the, units na na the, keep the unit name suggestions coming. And most importantly, it's great that you're here um, watching the videos. It means a lot to me. So thank you very much indeed. So until next time, all to say is take care and farewell.